Damn. Yeah, right on the axle. Lots of springs. Oh. Dead man! Dead man walking! Ooh. We got a dead man walking here. Jesus, dead please, man. what is he yelling about? Oh. You might want to reconsider getting in the cell with this guy. He's enormous. Can't be bigger than you. Trouble with you, big boy. Can you talk? Yes, I boss. I can talk. Move your ass. Let's go. Come on. See? They're moving house down in the infirmary. Why don't you go see if they can use some help? Ah, they got all the men they need. Why don't you just go and make sure? Uh -uh. I don't care where you go, Percy. Just a moment's not here at this very moment. Wipe that grin off your shit poke face, didn't I? God damn it, Percy, get the hell off my block! Uh -huh. We're gonna get that looked at, Dell. In the meantime, you just stay quiet. Yeah. Take those chains off you. You're gonna be nice. Your name is John Coffey. Yes, sir, boss. Like a drink, only not spelled the same. Oh, you can spell, can you? Just my name, boss. J O. My name is Paul Edgecombe. If I'm not here, you can ask for Mr. Terwilliger, Mr. Howell, or Mr. Stanton. These gentlemen right there. Questions? Do you leave the light on after bedtime? Because I get a little scared in the dark sometimes. If it's a strange place. Stays pretty bright around here all night long. We always keep a few lights burning out in the corridor. The corridor? Right out there. You 
can see it. Couldn't help it, boss. I tried to take it back, but it was too late. Jane, pull Delacroix's car, take him down to the infirmary, see if those fingers are broken. 